Milwaukee, I learned to read at a very young age, at about, I think at about four. And it was all about this special connection I had with my dad, who himself was a passionate reader. And for as long as I can remember, he read to me. As long as I, literally from the time I was aware of what was going on, my dad was reading to me. And then as I got to read, and especially as I became a teenager, and by 12, let's say, almost every few days we would get together in our den where we had many bookshelves, and he would take a book off the shelf, a grown-up book, and he'd say, I think you're ready to read this. And I can remember, I can remember him putting Marjorie Morningstar into my hands. Uh, I was invited over to a local school not far from our office, and it was a wonderful school, but clearly challenged in terms of budget, as are all public schools. And I went into the library with the principal, and I was stunned by what I saw. Literally a few books, a handful of books in cardboard boxes. And as a result of that experience, uh, learning about that and getting involved with that school, um, I became interested in what was happening in the schools across Canada. And the reality is that all schools have been deprived of budgets for books and in uh, areas with more challenged populations where the incomes just aren't there, the school libraries are a disaster. Because in the middle and upper, upper income uh, neighborhoods, you have the parents who are contributing with book drives and supporting the libraries constantly. And also these are kids who have more opportunity to go and buy books. But in the more challenged neighborhoods, you literally have parents who so want their kids to learn to read, often kids who don't know English, they want them to learn the language, but the schools just don't have the money. So we set up a foundation 10 years ago called the Indigo Love of Reading Foundation. We contribute, uh, we sell products that allow our customers to contribute, um, our publishing partners have contributed, and now uh, this year we celebrate 10 years and we will have put $18 million into high-need schools in Canada, and we're just scratching the surface.